We are in the middle of COVID-19 and thought it'd be a good idea to put together some videos for you that don't require moving around. And we're going to start with the tour of the caravan. So let's take a look. So we're going to start at the front of the caravan and this is our bed, it's permanently made up. Um, it came with a mattress which was fine, um, but for full time living we decided to put our own mattress on here which is a queen and it fits really well. Um, we have got storage all the way around our bed. So on both sides, the long cupboards we actually use for our clothes. Jamie and mine, Jamie's on this side, mine's on the other side. And right along the top, we use for um, Astra's nappies and all of her clothing. We've got two, um, on either side, we've got fans, which are three speed and um, just some touch lighting as well for both of us. Then on that side, um, we've got the, well, Jamie can talk about that. Oh, that's just our heater control, which I'll talk about in a second, which is under the bed. Um, we've just thrown up some hooks as well to store our hats because they were getting crushed everywhere on both sides. We each have a bedside table as well, which has a drawer and Jamie's side has a cupboard. And a little rubbish bin down there. So under the bed, under the bed now, um, it's held up by gas struts, which is really easy to lift. And this is where we uh, store um, stuff that we don't really need all the time. Um, the, the bedding itself is really strong. We've not felt it bow or be uncomfortable. Um, so in here we store like nappies, toilet paper, games that we rotate for the kids, um, shoes and our laundry. We also have the inverter switch. So the storage doesn't go the full depth of the bed because we've got a tunnel boot that runs along um, the back there and you can see the holes on either side which you can access once the bed's down um, and that allows your cords to come out because... Yeah, inside those cupboards have got uh, USB ports, cigarette sockets and when you're plugged in 240 volt plugs so yeah. that's really handy. Um, and Jamie can also talk about this other stuff on this side. So under this side, this cupboard is a false cupboard. In here you've got your hot water system, which is gas and 240 volt, so electric. It's got an element in there. So when we're plugged in at a caravan park or have our gas hot water on, we can run our hot water heater, which is just as simple as when the water's hot, it runs through here and a little fan blows out. And here's the outlet. It's uh, really good for maintaining, maintaining a temperature a few degrees. It takes a long time to build up um, the temperature. The temperature, mm. so that's why we installed a diesel heater, which we'll show you in a second. Yeah. Um, so if you come upwards, we've got three of these skylights that run along the roof of the caravan, um, and I'll show you this one because I can reach it easier on the bed. Um, have got a flywire screen on one end and block out um, on the other which works really well and it's a simple lifting system which um, has three different levels and locks simple yeah and um, we have a tv that is movable for um, inside and outside the caravan which lifted up at the cables and it's got a cd player and usb ports and hdmi everything it needs coming along to the kitchen and we have storage along the top and all the storage within the caravan is really well thought out. Um, they are deep, really deep cupboards and storage. Um, so everything along the top, uh, this cupboard here is another Jamie thing, so you can talk about that. Uh, this is our water gauges for our two freshwater tanks. Uh, we also got a grey tank, so that's our monitor for that. It's just our pump switch to turn the pump on. Uh, we've got some lights, rear lights, side lights for the caravan. It's our water heater for the gas. And there is our Victron 
um, solar controller. We use a 50 amp solar controller because we have 790 watts worth of solar. Um, and this is all our circuit breakers. The caravan doesn't have fuses, it runs circuit breakers. Um, and then the range hood. Um, it's a 12 volt range hood and it's got a lights as well. It's quite noisy so we don't often run it at night time. And we've got a sink that is really deep. I find a lot of caravan sinks aren't that deep but this one is just like a standard house one. And we've got hot and cold mixer tap with a filter. There's two filters that are underneath so it runs through the same tap here. Um, and it's two filters which is underneath the cupboard here and you know they're behind all of our stuff. We store um, all our big bulky dry stores, got fruit and things underneath. Again loads of deep storage. We've got really usefully deep great long deep drawers um, we've never felt like we don't have enough space to store your everyday kitchen things within this caravan um, this bench is dual purpose where we can cook um, that's Astra I think she's had enough so right back again so we've got uh, three gas hobs and a 12 volt that you can use when you're 240 volt oh. so three gas hobs and sorry 240 volt that we use when we are plugged in we have a, a grill underneath as well that's gas and we don't have an oven within the caravan we chose to not get a caravan with an oven um, because it would take up all of this space in here which would mean that we'd lose out on valuable storage space so instead we decided to have a Weber so we just set that up when we arrive and we can use that like an oven as well as having a barbecue yeah, and we're going to work on making that easier to set up a eh? Yeah, we are. Um, Just Jane, so it's not such a big job putting a table out and plugging <laughs> it in. Yeah. Um, we store pots and pans in here, and in this cupboard is our you know everyday use pantry stuffs in here. So coming along, we've got a microwave that we can use because we're plugged in at a campground. Um, so standard it's microwave 240 volt so we Plugged never in. we never use it otherwise yep um and it's really quiet which was a surprise and um, we've got a fridge which Dometic. is yeah uh, i think it's 170 liter but um it's a three-way fridge so it's gas 12 volt and 240 volt during the day we run it on 12 volt because we've got lots of solar and at night time we switch it to gas unless we're at a car caravan park where we just leave it on 240 all the time yeah and i can show you inside but um it is after a two-week shop so it's chocolate so we can yeah we can fit two weeks worth of groceries in there yep really um, well packed like my <laughs> nana's fridge was always packed so um around to this side of the living space um we'll go up and maybe don't look too close it needs a good clean but um, we've got a, another heating cooling device up here, so it's an air conditioner. Um, you, when you're plugged in, to, it's 240 volts, so when you're plugged in, you can use it. And we use it a couple of times as an air conditioner in Australia, and it worked really well. And our speakers. So we've got two speakers, yeah. and also outside speakers. Oh, and we didn't talk about this here. Um, this is our aerial. For the TV. For the TV. Just to wind so just up. wind it up. Um, we've got this really handy pocket which we use just for the kids school stuff so it's always at front of mind and we've got more storage along the top here um, it is really strong this storage and we actually store all of our cans in there which is heavy but we've um, yeah we're really impressed with the way this caravan is built yeah the sales rep um, they were doing chin-ups of these yeah to show how strongly built they are so yeah um, and we've got our Sound Stereo system, thing. which can play music inside or outside, which is handy. Yeah, there's a, it's a, like a mix of things. It's Bluetooth and all the Stuff and angles. That you need. And um, another two lights on either side for nighttime reading, and the mains switch yeah, that's thing to uh, isolate the whole power on the caravan. Um, um, we've got inside lights here, and then this other side has a separate lights switch hmm. um, so this uh, window is the only one that runs like this 
a blind. Um, as a blind, and it's a simple lock system here. And we've got another one of these pouches up the top, which we put things that we don't want the kids to get to, like their tablets and yeah, the stuff that you can see. Coming down along here, this is our couch. Um, it's a leather L-shaped couch, obviously, you can see that. And underneath the whole area is more storage. At this end, underneath here, is the diesel heater. Yeah, so we've got a diesel heater. We have two outlets, one here and one in the so kids' rooms. So it runs along the back of the um, Yeah, and there's our storage. display for the diesel heater. Yeah, um, so you access the, uh, you remove the couches and you access it underneath um, the couch or there, one or there's another cupboard here. Um, oh, I just shoved stuff in there, so just ignore that. And this is another, so there's a few reasons why we chose this caravan. This is kind of one of them. We we're really impressed with this size of this table and the versatility of this, um, it's like a 360. Yeah, we can use it as a bench if we need more yep. bench space so or more room. Oh no, I clicked it in too far. Okay, so we've got to spin it. So it comes all the way around and then you've got to spin it <laughs> like that. It's yeah, for the amount of time to use it. But anyway, it's great because we can have it tight for the kids so that they don't slip down and... And it also across. goes down and makes a whole other bed. Yeah, so there's a lever the on the pole underneath and then push it down and um, it clips in underneath these and you can put a swab on top. Right, so coming down to the third part of our tiny home and it's separated by this little screen is magnetized so uh, as I said there was a couple of reasons why we chose this caravan and the main contributing factor was this back space here um, the builders of this caravan have really maximized the internal living space and the floor space within this back area uh, was impressive so we've got all the space down the bottom here that the kids can play on yet we still have enough room within our um, shower so we've got a wet room so shower over toilet which we find fine um, we just use a squeegee and wipe it down when we're done um, we've got an, the other vent down the bottom here and that's for the diesel heater so the kids can get their whole area warmed up um, really fast which is nice um, the other good thing so we've got three forms of heating and the diesel heater is probably our best or our favorite because it heats up fast and it's a dry heat too so um, even though we've not had a problem with condensation it definitely rules that out through winter which is nice and um, the other side of our bathroom area is the vanity uh, we've got storage at the top which we put our medicines and you know, stuff we want the kids to get to and then we've got a toiletry drawer same sort of size as the kitchen so they're deep and long and yeah it's a mixer sinky thing hand rail towel a uh, hand towel hand towel rail there we go <laughs> <laughs> got there in the end um, so all of our windows are like this so they've got these little clips simple locking system and then it's a three stage push in and click and then when you want to release it push it again and it comes down so oh, there we are and um, and then each of them have got a flywire screen and then block out blinds um, so we can make this whole caravan right in the middle of summer at seven o'clock black um, which is great for small children so if you remember we've got Astra's clothes up the front on top of our bed in that storage above the bed and back here um, we've got the kids clothes so we've got two um, lots of drawers each for Atlas two for Aria two for Atlas and they are deep and long and within here we've got the uh, some books that we can't fit in our other book area and it's the same really deep cupboards yeah they're extremely deep yeah so we've got all our linen hats jammies and our wet weather gear um, at the moment we've got our all our winter stuff stored underneath the couch 
Oh, no, we don't. We have it in the front boot. So we've got all our winter stuff. So we've packed um, for all seasons here. Um, and we don't feel like we're running out of room. So it's the ladder to get up to the top bunk. Yeah, and then within Atlas's bed. So these bunks, um, another reason why we got this caravan and chose this one, a lot of people are like, oh, you must have three bunks because you've got three kids. Uh, we weren't kidding ourselves. Astra is still in bed with us. And so we decided to go for two bunks, which means that the kids can actually sit up in the bed because they're not um, lost space for an extra bed. So this, the area of their bed actually becomes like a little room for them. They can really play in there comfortably. And when they get up early, we can say, close your curtain yep. and stay in your bed until seven o'clock. Yeah, and then block out curtains. Um, in each of the bunks, um, Jamie can actually lay down in them because they're six foot long bunks and they've both got a fan each and the same touch lights and their own windows. They've also got USB ports and plugs. So the kids have um, really got their own space, which I think is really important that they feel comfortable. The other good thing about not having a third bunk is that we can comfortably fit the kids to play and still have storage underneath. So we use one for books and the other for toys, which is jam packed because we tied it up. Um, two hand rail, uh, two towel rails here. Um, we picked up this just from an op shop, which we use for the kids jumpers. And that's back around to here. Oh, okay, so I think we're done. Right, so that's our home. Um, if I think I've missed something, I don't think I have though, um, let us know. And I'm gonna hand you over to Jamie now and he's going to do a walk around around the outside and show you some of the stuff that I don't even know about. So cool, hope you enjoyed it. So we're gonna show you the outside of the caravan now. Um, we are on lockdown, so perfect time to show you. And it is a water restriction, so we haven't cleaned the outside of the caravan. Up front, we've got a, just a standard 50 mil coupling. We've got a purple line anti-thief lock on there, which is a lot better than your Repco or your super cheap ones. We've got the reverse camera, which is stretchy. This is the, we've got dual chain locks. The breakaway system, which in the event of the caravan falling off, this stretches and activates the brakes. Handbrake. Um, the fridge, it charges um, the battery and the fridge by the um, Anderson plug here. It's your caravan plug to your trailer socket jockey wheel um, this does have a nice big six inch frame this caravan so it's can support a lot of weight um, a major factor why we brought this caravan also was the weight it's got a tear weight so that's empty unloaded of 2166 kg and it's ATM which is here which is the maximum weight the caravan can can lift or be is 3,200 kilos so that's just over a ton worth of stuff that's water so it's 200 kilos of water it's probably 40 kilos with a gas bottles full you know but still that still leaves us with 750 kilos or more of luggage we can actually have inside here so we've got two gas bottles so it's a dual gas bottle system um, when one's empty just switch it over to the next or you can have them both on at once we run one at a time, that way when it's empty, we can go fill that up and switch the other one on. Um, we put a diesel tank in, because we've got a diesel heater. It's just a five litre one, but it gives us enough for a, a week's worth of uh, heating. A uh, nice storage tray here we use for our leveling blocks. We just load that up. Uh, there's no boot in this caravan, and there's no front window. Um, oh, before I go, there's a tap and it's just a stone guard, it's just cold water. Um, so instead of the front boot, we've got this, which is a tunnel boot, which you can get fishing rods in there, I don't know, probably a snowboard. So that's anything. what's underneath our bed Ex on the inside? Yeah, um, there's a light in each access point. Um, we've got 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter, uh, the battery charger when we're plugged into 240 volts. The breakaway system, which is for the activating the brakes if the caravan comes unattached from the truck. 
and the low voltage cutout system so when the battery gets down it uh, cuts it out to save the battery um, locking points on all of them one key does the whole caravan which is good so it saves multiple keys this is the gas vent for the hot water bedroom window double glazed all the windows are double glazed. Yeah, all the windows are. Kitchen window. It's just a vent. That's the vent for the uh, range hood. There's an aerial socket here too if you want to mount something on the back here. TV. Um, the suspension um, is just roller rocker suspension. So semi off-road caravan. Nothing extreme. We don't need independent suspension here in New Zealand. Uh, 15 inch all terrains um, and it's four wheel electric brakes so drum brakes but good um, something I missed is the batteries externally mounted which is good and they are two 120 amp AGM deep cycle batteries um, move on <coughs> fridge vent because it's a gas fridge uh, just a cigarette socket uh, power input. I think that's another fridge vent. Mm. There's one of the side lights, and these are just oh, that's a vent as well. The bathroom window. The water is um, so when we're at a caravan park, we just leave it plugged in, and we switch it, and we don't run the pump or anything. It just we just leave it, and then when we want to fill the tanks up, we just switch it over, and you can hear it. It's starting to fill the water tanks up, so it's called a. I think it's a quick fill system. Um, means you don't have to worry about when you're at a caravan park putting your hose in and filling the tank all the time. Um, this is one of the tanks. So the tanks, water tanks, are mounted one up the front and one up the back. They're 95 liters each. Um, yeah, this is our uh, grey grey hose. It attaches to the other side. Um, also under here we've got our uh, grey tank which um, which you need to get your uh, self-contained certificate so we've got that on the back we've got on the top we've got the reverse camera so there's two settings one for a nice far distance to see what's behind you and one close up so we can see if we're going to back into anything um, we put this bike rack on, it's pretty simple, it's just the jockey wheel holder um, that we put on there and we can carry all the bikes on there so it does the job. Um, one spare, we've also got the, a rubbish bin which is just a spare wheel, what is it? Spare it's wheel? a um, your gear, for gear like recovery bag. gear bag. Yeah. So we, we've had this for years and um, it's been really handy to throw our rubbish in because at a lot of campgrounds, like um, when you're freedom camping or staying at dock campgrounds, they don't often have rubbish collections, so that way it's not sitting in the caravan or in the truck. Exactly. Hmm. That's good. Um, just another light there and that's about it back here. Um, so this is another storage compartment. It's obviously got a light as they all do and this is under the bunks. So under the Aria's bunk. It's one window, two window for the bunks. Two window bunks. The toilet has its own separate fill for water. Um, it's just a 20 litre cassette toilet. Uh, the awning, still don't know the brand. We're going to say Dometic. But it does the job. It comes out further than this as well. Yeah. And it's, our last caravan didn't have one, but this does and it's... It's Definitely great. Good for yeah. When it's raining, you have a dry entry into your caravan. Well, um, we'll show you a full setup video in time as well. Yeah, yeah, the time it takes. Outside lights, outside speakers, TV mount, cigarette sockets, aerial 240 volt plug. Um, Garrow Grey Tank. The great, yeah, that's just a. Um, drain hose for the grey tank so it's just a lever you plug it in and we have it um, draining all the time yeah. um, 
Oh, you can see the tank's a bit better on this side. So one and two. And there's one up the front. The door, the nifty door, which separates as a fly screen and security, and then clips back together. Oh yes, I'll show how it, it works easily, eh? <laughs> Okay, never had that problem before. Oh, I have, but I don't know why. Okay, we'll get back to that. <laughs> you gonna do that again? Yeah. Okay, so coming up to here. Okay, yeah. You ready? Yeah. So the door, the nifty door, which separates, as you can see, into a fly screen and security door. It just simply clips together. You lift the handle and there you go, separates. Probably needs to be shut to do that. Um, cool, so we got this really fancy little light, light handle, door handle thing. Is, um, oh, we didn't mention inside. Light as well um there's uh, lights along oh they don't work what have i done oh anyway so there's strip lighting along here and then here's the step um which holds a heck of a lot of weight it's thule the brand of that one that might be the uh awning brand too yeah yeah, yeah who knows maybe um, um this is our oven because we don't have one we run the Weber. So at the moment we just stick it out onto here and then there's an air uh, little, see the up hose here. runs? That's the other side of the boot. Up here there's a simple gas connection bayonet type. Yep, uh, we're looking at uh, installing, well Jamie's going to install this into the truck uh, toolbox like thing. And run its own gas bottle in there. Yep. That way we can go for a night out at the beach or whatever and we can mm. have some cook our dinner at the beach or whatnot. Um, apart from that... Oh the legs. Well the legs, yep. The it's legs. a bit hard to show you but um, they... Um, well in here we've just mounted our handle. Very simple. You loosen it enough so it's off. You pull the lever, flick it up and that's it. Drop them down. A um, good tip is to set them up on an angle, like one on that angle and the back one on this angle, and that way you'll stop the rocking sensation. It's always a good thing. Yeah. And that's it, I think. Yeah. So I hope that was uh, helpful. It was pretty detailed and again if you've got any questions or you think we've missed something just leave a comment below um, don't forget to subscribe we'll be doing lots of other videos like this while we're in lockdown as well as still giving you our road trip videos so make sure you hit that subscribe button and press that bell so you don't miss any of our videos because you'll be notified for them give us a like and share if you want comment all those things awesome thank you Thanks.